let's go to the next problem a boy can jump 2 meter on the surface of earth how much can he jump on the surface of moon assuming that the acceleration due to gravity on the surface of moon is one fifth that on the surface of earth options a 2 meter b 5 meter c 10 meter and d 2 by 5 meter obviously dear students since acceleration due to gravity is lesser on the surface of moon when compared to that on the surface of earth the boy can obviously jump to a greater height than he can do on the surface of earth therefore answer should be more than 2 meter so straight away we can eliminate options a and d but how do we get the correct answer whether it is 5 or 10 the idea is when he jumps against gravity he has to do some work the work done by the person is stored in the body as his potential energy the maximum height corresponds to the maximum work done which corresponds to the maximum potential energy that remains same irrespective of the surfaces however the value of g is different in different surfaces i repeat the maximum potential energy stored by the body is same on the surface of moon as well as the surface of earth so that's the method to solve i'll i'll take the expression for potential energy if i write that mgh as potential energy it should be same for the two surfaces let me take this is for earth and this is for moon and if i take the acceleration due to gravity as g dash and h dash corresponding to moon obviously m should remain same on two surfaces g dash is given to be one fifth of g what are we supposed to find out is h dash so i'll directly write the expression for h dash as g by g dash times h g by g dash is 5 5 into h is 2 i'll directly write it as 5 into 2 is 10 meter therefore option c is the correct answer students should note here a fact that irrespective of the surface irrespective of the location what remains same is only the mass don't be confused with weight weight is m into g weight keeps on changing what i'm trying to say is weight of a person on the surface of earth is not the same on the surface of moon so from surface of earth to surface of moon what changes is weight but not the mass remember mass remains same that's why i can cancel only mass here the problem is like this the height at which the acceleration due to gravity becomes g by 9 in terms of r which is the radius of earth is options a 2r b r by 3 sorry b r by root 3 c r by 2 and d root 2 r dear students we all know that as we go above the surface of earth the value of g decreases and in this problem we are supposed to find out at which height the value of g reduces to g by 9 and we have an expression for uh, the value of g at a height h the formula is g dash is equal to g into 1 minus 2 h by r but dear students this formula is valid only for small heights but here in the given problem is the height small is there any information given about height obviously because the value of g changes to g by 9 which means the value almost reduces to 10 percent of its value that is it gets reduced by 90 percent can you still say that the height is small impossible when the height is considerable or in other words when the height is too much you can't use this formula which is very familiar so you have to go back to the other formula of g dash which is g dash is equal to gm divided by 
r plus h whole square. In place of g dash, I will substitute g by 9 and also in place of gm, I have to substitute gr square. On simplification, I will get the value of h in terms of r. That is the idea. Look at this. g by 9 is equal to gr square divided by r plus h the whole square g get cancelled 9 r square is r plus h whole square r plus h is 3 r h is 2 r remember dear students this height h is from the surface of earth I am talking about this height also this height these are the heights from the surface of earth not from the center of earth so at a height which is equal to twice the radius of earth from the surface of earth the value of g gets reduced to one ninth of its value on the surface of earth students the next problem is like this the change in the value of g at a height h above the surface of earth is same as at a depth d below the surface of earth when both d and h are much smaller than the radius of earth then which of the following is correct options a d is equal to h by 2 b d is equal to 3 h by 2 C, D is equal to 2H and D, D is equal to H. Dear students, we all know that as we go above the surface of earth, the value of G decreases. According to the expression, G dash is equal to G into 1 minus 2H by R. That is, when H is smaller when compared to radius of earth as given in the problem. Similarly, with the depth the value of g changes according to the expression g dash is equal to g into 1 minus d by r. Let me write the expressions first. With height g dash is equal to g into 1 minus 2 h by r provided h is small when compared to r h is very small of course and with depth g dash is equal to g into 1 minus d by r. But what is given in the problem is the change in G is same in both the cases. So if you go to a height H, then what is the change in G? It is maximum on the surface of earth. It is smaller at a certain height H. Then find the change in G that is value of G on the surface of earth minus value of G at a height H. Similarly, the change in the value of g when you go deeper to a height d, sorry, when you go deeper to a depth d is given by the value of g on the surface of earth minus the value of g at a depth d. So let me write the change in the value of g due to height h using the expression g dash is equal to g minus 2hg by r using this I will get the change in the value of g that is g minus g dash of course because g is greater when compared to g dash this is given by g minus g dash is 2hg by r so this is the change in the value of g when you go to a height h similarly when you go to a depth d the change in the value of g is g minus g dash. So let me differentiate these two. g minus g dash in this case can be directly written as this g gets multiplied here. So this becomes g d by r. So let me call this as equation 1 and this is equation 2. These two are equal. The change in the value of g is equal according to the given data. Therefore I can equate these two. When I equate these two I will directly get uh, R, R get cancelled, G gets cancelled, 
So, since 1 is equal to 2, I will get that d is equal to, in place of d, I have 2h here, therefore d is equal to 2h. Option C is the right answer. But I think uh, there is one more shortcut. You need not do so much to solve this problem. Let me take an example. If the value of g is 9.8 on the surface of earth, there must be a point above the surface of earth where the value of g is, let me say some 9.5. So the change in the value of g is 0.3. I hope you are understanding. Similarly, there, is, there must be another point below the surface of earth where also the value of g must be 9.5. That is, in this case also the change in the value of g is 0.3. According to the given problem, the change in the g is same in both the cases. That is 0.3 here, 0.3 here. What did we do so far is, we have equated this 0.3 with this 0.3. That is, g minus g dash is equated with g minus g dash. Instead of this, what can also be done is, you can equate the values directly. What I am trying to say is, you can say that this is, here it is 9.5, here also it is 9.5. Why can't you directly equate these two 9.5s? That is, what is the value of g here? g dash is equal to g into 1 minus 2h by r. g dash is equal to g into 1 minus d by r. If I directly equate these two g dashes, look at the expression in place of d, I have 2h. So, the obvious answer for d or the obvious relationship between d and h is given by this 2h should be equal to d. Answer c is the correct answer.